um, this is just a beautiful video. In fact, I have stopped here for the last 10 or 15 years to get amazing photographs of the church, uh, the clouds, the sunset, and um, um, in, all, in all kinds of seasons too. I mean, even in um, the winter when it snows, when it rains, and um, you know, at night, or approaching nightfall. But it's on a hill and it always has amazing backdrops and even when it's backlit, it's beautiful. Let me just go over to the side and the front to show you what the backlit um, photography looks like. So I think I've been a photographer all of my life. Maybe at like 11 years old. That's my earliest recollection of carrying around a camera and I think it was one of those 110s. Seems like the summer is starting to come to an end which is is okay with me because the heat is really really bad the humidity is really bad this is a very very well maintained church Oh, that's a really old one. That might be one of the oldest tombstones in the cemetery. That one only lived about 19 years. In the south, there aren't so many um, churches with cemeteries around them. But as a photographer, I do appreciate um, backlit properties and it's just another option. It's another variety um, for composing um, an image. Oh boy, here we go. There's always um, a way for me to insert antinatalist or natalist um, properties into my videos. So I wasn't going to make this into um, a video um, for the channel, but here we go. Mother and father. And it says at rest. Philip Brandt and Sophia Brandt, and I guess this is why the, the local street is called Brandt School Road. So they were born in the mid-1830s, and um, they are finally at rest, <laughs> it says. So it's a shame that we have to be conceived and born and um, you know maintain a life you know get up get dressed clean yourselves 
um, go to work, <laughs> pay bills, uh, organize, file, study. It's a shame that we have to go through the middleman to get to our rest. I don't um, believe in um, some afterlife. I don't believe in reincarnation and until I see proof. Um, you know, don't see any proof as yet. So I guess I'm waiting for proof to um, died in Alaska here. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's interesting. And this way of spelling Brant is missing the D. So Henry and Mary are at rest. This one died in Alaska. And this one is asleep in Jesus. Olive L. Brant. It's quite interesting. I love the way I've really never even scoped out this cemetery. So these are beautiful. I love these tombstones. I think they're really cool. Um, you know, as far as tombstones go. But why do we have to be born and endure pain and suffering? And, you know, some people have life so much more difficult. Some people are disabled. Some people are, um, you know, have chronic pain. Some people are tortured. Mm, yeah. Some people are tortured from the day they were born. Some people have very abusive parents. And it's not uncommon even today to have um, sexually or physically abusive parents. And it's uh, usually covert. Behind closed doors. But yeah, we have to endure a lot of suffering until we find our resting place with Jesus. So thanks for watching my video. This is Child Free Diane.